Okay, so I'm back home. I am going to shower first and then I will make uh, some tea and then I will watch a movie. Um, I actually have a microphone and um, I should use it because it's a waste that I don't use it right now. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I will put the audio on, so if you hear uh, a slightly different sound, then that is the reason. Alright, so I am going to take a nice warm shower and then enjoy my evening. It's so nice to have like a little bit of rain, but it's also, you feel it's spring and everything is already green. Then it's actually really nice. So refreshing and calming and yeah. Okay, it started to rain like crazy and there's also thunder and everything. So I think it's kind of risky to take the camera out in this Rain. Oh my god. And it's also like the thunder. It's so scary but exciting at the same time. <laughs> mm. I guess I will just wait until it isn't raining this much anymore and then I can go to the city. Welcome to a rainy day in Copenhagen. We're now, whoo! Oh my god, this is a disaster. Okay, so we're now at Kongsnutov and it's crazy, the wind. This is kind of like a good point to explain a little bit where I am. Here is uh, Christiania. So over there is the place where you can uh, have like drugs and stuff. Um, a little bit of like tiny Amsterdam is over there. And yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but over there. Um, no, unfortunately you cannot see it. Uh, over there is the theater there is also an old theater but this is the back side of it yeah it's really nice and it's actually the city center and then nearby you have Niehaven and that's the uh, the street with all those colorful houses now we're almost at the black diamond and this is um, the royal library of Copenhagen and the black diamond is called that way because of the shape of the building it looks kind of like a diamond i don't think so but <laughs> all right so now we are at slotsholmen but then on the back side of the building but what I find more interesting is a little garden there is um, on the side. So
these flowers smell so nice. Okay, I um, came back from the swimming and now I got dressed. I'm wearing this, um, yeah, what's, what is this called? <laughs> I don't know, this beautiful clothing um, of my mother's brand, uh, supporting her. And these pants are also from her. So um, I'm wearing that and I'm heading out now. I'm going to um, Dragor, or I don't know if I pronounce it well. It's Dragor, Dragor. I don't really know how to pronounce it. I think half of Ama is uh, an, a park, like a, a natural park. And uh, it also has these beaches and um, at the south, well, actually the south, um, southeast of Ama you have Dragor and it's um, actually a really beautiful little village that is really worth uh, worth visiting because it's pretty interesting actually to have like this town in a city uh, actually it's outside the city but it's still like the same island I don't know if this is clear but <laughs> I hope you understand um, so yeah I'm going there and um, yeah, I will take you along with me. Let's go. All right, we arrived in Dragor or Dragur, and I, um, really like this place it's really reminds me a little bit of the netherlands and it also has something to do with the netherlands so um this little town has like a long history and also the netherlands was kind of involved in it um like there were Hansestede, I don't know the English word for this, but Hansestede were like trading places. Um, and in this town, it was obviously fish because it's like a fishing town. And um, they were, let me see which way, I think I will go this way. Uh, they had like Haring herring I think in English and look how beautiful and so yeah they were I think even like privileged in um, in the whole like fishing industry here in Denmark
Now we are at the harbor of Dragor <clears throat> and if you see in the distance over there is a tiny house where um, the officer um, back in the days I think 19th century was um, yeah like surveying or like taking uh, care of like there were no criminals or whatever and yeah I really love to be in this like place with all these boats I think it's super beautiful and there comes a very big boat now that's crazy but yeah to be honest I don't really oh wait to be honest I don't really like the big boats I would prefer like these small uh, sailing boats I would actually really want to have one but yeah you cannot have everything unfortunately I love this. This is um, what's the English word for this? Mm. Huh, I just really love to sit now here in the grass. I am really enjoying this here. I am really lately very uh, into philosophical things uh, like especially Japanese and uh, Chinese philosophy about letting things flow and just letting things happen and I really believe in that I think of course you have to try and to um, uh, put some energy into the things you want to do and to achieve and to have goals but I don't think your whole um, like that the goal should um, influence your actions so that you are just like doing the things in the way you can do it and not forcing anything and I do I really believe that when you believe in your journey and like in your path and that everything will unfold the way it should unfold eventually that um, that positive things really happen in your path I think that is a really grounded mentality I think it is actually really strange that society has made us all be, to be like very ambitious and uh, active and only um, only going for the goal but uh, 
I think when you have that mentality and you reach that goal, that the goal will seem to be less of a reward and that you're searching for even more and more and more and that kind of time passes and then you're just losing so much time at the same time, you know? you just have to enjoy the journey towards everything you want to achieve so and I think that the path to your goal is really awarding in itself but if you learn of that instead of seeing it like oh this is blocking my way to my dreams blah blah, blah if you see it more as something like okay this is something I can learn from then I think eventually this is more even more valuable than the goal itself. That's kind of what I tried to say. Um, like sitting here now in the grass in the sun with a piece of fruit on my own. Not bad, not bad at all. I just love the yellow and the blue together. It's so beautiful. Okay, I got myself a chai latte and this bio bread.